This video is for pronunciation only. I will make a later video where I go through the different vocabulary in the article and explain that. But really here, I'm just going to concentrate on pronunciation. So I will read it very slowly first, and then I'll go back and read it at a normal speed. Use this video to practice the different sounds, make the same sounds that I make, copy it, read it and copy the no sounds that I make as I read it slowly, and then try to read it at a normal speed, copying my intonations, where do I put the stress on the word, and then, so we're going to practice shadow reading, and then you should be able to not just improve your pronunciation, but also your fluency. So I will start by reading it very slowly. Morning bid Americas, brittle banks find a birth. A look at the day ahead in US and global markets from Mike Doolan or Dolan, I don't know. The final week of a turbulent month and volatile quarter for world markets has kicked off with relative stability in the battered banking sector at the heart of the latest upheaval. Two developments on the U.S. side of the banking disturbance acted as a Boon. First Citizens Bank shares said on Monday it will acquire all the loans and deposits of failed U.S. lender Silicon Valley Bank. Customers retain access to their accounts. The North Carolina based bank said and branches open on Monday. Secondly, reports circulated at the weekend that U.S. authorities are considering expanding the Federal Reserve's emergency lending program that would offer banks more support in an effort that could give First Republic Bank more time to shore up its balance sheet. First Republic's shares jumped 25% B 
before the bell on Monday with the wider S&P 500 stock futures up 0.3% with few fresh weekend developments on the European bank stock rigor late last week, European bursars and bank stocks found a level two. Okay, so just start from there. You should be able to go back and listen to any words you find difficult that are broken up. Now I'm going to read it at a normal level and this time try to listen to the intonation of my voice as I read through it. Morning Bid Americas, Brittle Banks Find a Birth. I look at the day ahead in US and global markets from Mike Dolan or Doolin. The final week of a turbulent month and volatile quarter for world markets has kicked off with, a, with relative stability in the battered banking sector at the heart of the latest upheaval. Two developments on the US side of the banking disturbance acted as a boon. First Citizens Bank shares said on Monday it will acquire all the loans and deposits of failed US lender Silicon Valley Bank. Customers retain access to their accounts, the North Carolina-based bank said, and branches open on Monday. Secondly, reports circulated at the weekend that US authorities are considering expanding the Federal Reserve's emergency lending program that would offer banks more support in an effort that could give First Republic Bank time to shore up its balance sheet. First Republic shares jumped 25% before the bell on Monday, with the wider S&P 500 stock futures up 0.3%. With few fresh weekend developments on the European bank stock rigor late last week, European bursaries and bank stocks found a little... You go back and listen to it again to make sure you have the pronunciation of the words. So listen to the first part where I go through each word syllable by syllable. And then when you know that you can pronounce the words properly, listen to the faster recording, the second part, and listen to it um, again, and then listen to it another time, trying to copy my intonation as I say the words. So here you're doing shadow reading that will really help with fluency and um, you've already done your pronunciation work in the first part. So I recommend that you use the same bit, the same reading over and over again until you get really good. As I said, I will make a separate video where I will do the second half of this article in the same way so you can practice pronunciation and fluency reading. And then I will also make another video where I go through the vocabulary so that you can understand what the article is about.